Bahad Badia Israel Jai Hind. Okay, so now I've got every Indian on the planet absolutely laughing themselves silly because of my pronunciation. And I've got every Westerner going, what'd she say? So basically I just said, well done, Israel. Go India. And I've been absolutely captivated by the Chandrayaan 2 rocket launch. I was disappointed a week ago when at 50, T minus 56 minutes and 24 seconds, they aborted the mission. The moment it all went wrong for Israel in the early hours of this morning. But then they rescheduled for Monday the 22nd of July. And I sat there on the edge of my seat, crossing my fingers, hoping to God that this launch was successful. And I wanted it to be successful for so many reasons. So it, I don't know if people know too much about India's space program. So Chandrayaan 2, is a GSLV, it's a, it's a launch vehicle and it's going to launch Vikram which is a, the landing module and Pragyan which is a rover and they plan to land about 73 degrees south on the moon on the dark side. Now we call it the dark side only because we can't see it. So the moon is tidally locked, which means that it only rotates as much as we can still see the same surface. You know, when I look at the moon, I see a kindly old gentleman. I do. I really do. But what I'm actually looking at is the sea of tranquility, the sea of moisture, the sea of islands, and the sea of rains, or the sea of showers. And these seas were actually formed by lava forming pools on the moon and then solidifying. So from Earth, it actually looks like it's a sea like we have here on Earth. Um, but the, the ancient astronomers, they didn't have the telescopes to actually see that it wasn't water. But going to the dark side of the moon, now we've had China send back some images and we've had Russia do a bit of an orbit around it. And it, Russia postulated that there might be um, water ice at the poles. But it was just a, a, a hypothesis. But Chandrayaan 1, which was India's first mission to the moon, they did a, an orbit around the moon, taking a whole heap of images. And they confirmed that there was in fact water ice on the moon. And so what Chandrayaan 2 is doing is it's going to land on the dark side of the moon at the pole and it's going to take samples, it's going to do mineralogy mapping, water ice confirmation, um, radar for polar region mapping, thermal conductivity, um, it has a high resolution camera for topography mapping. This is groundbreaking stuff. And you know what's even really super cool? So uh, there's so many things that are super cool about this mission. So we have Dr. Shivan. He is the CEO, I suppose you would say his title. He runs the space agency. He's the son of a farmer. He had a dream. He looked up into the night sky and said, I want to be involved in those things up there. Son of an ordinary farmer. And then we have the project director, who is Mattia Veneta, and we have the mission director, and that's Ritu Karadal. These two women have just launched a rocket into space with an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. 
women in India are leading the space program. It's putting the rest of us to shame. Anyway, I digress. I'm just excited. I'm excited that ordinary people are capable of doing extraordinary things. So we get to the launch and I'm crossing my fingers that the same thing doesn't happen as a week ago. So I'm sitting there. At, let's just watch the launch. Where you will see shortly the S200s igniting on the ground. 20 seconds. 18 seconds now. अब आप ध्यान से अपने स्क्रीन पर देखिए अब आखिरी के 10 सेकंड बाकी हैं अब मैं कुछ दिन के लिए अपनी वाणी को रोकूंगा आप ध्यान से देखिए 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 समय आपके स्क्रीन पर देख रहे हैं तो S200 सेकंड प्लस 5 सेकंड वेल डन इसरो वेल डन देखो well done. <laughs> We've lost it in the smoke. <laughs> Okay, so the rocket has to orbit the Earth and the orbits get larger and larger and then eventually it will actually be captured by the moon's gravity and then it can orbit the moon. And just extraordinary how we can work out that that's how we get to the moon. We can't just fly straight there. Now this also comes in the same week where we've had uh, three more astronauts go to the International Space Station from the Russian launch pad in Kazakhstan. We've had uh, SpaceX do its fire testing and it caught fire. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing for me and big in a whole host of reasons was India breaking all the stereotypes and sending a launch vehicle out of Earth's atmosphere to orbit the moon, land on the moon and do scientific testing. Extraordinary. Thank you India and thank you for watching. Oh, hit subscribe. Go on, you know you want to. Hit subscribe. Oh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank you.